Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl the moon goddess. So today we are gathering the energy of you and the person on your mind. Just setting the tone here. I do have my sage going. So if you do see my sage um, smoke going past the camera, please do not mind that. Okay, let's pull the energy for our Sagittarius first. The energy from our Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. We got the Nine of Pentacles along with the Seven of Swords and the Judgment card. Okay, Sagittarius. So we're starting off with an energy here of. I feel like. I feel like you feel like you had no choice but to separate from somebody because they may have been deceiving you. This is the energy here. I feel like you kind of were in a place where, you know, you're ready for the next step here. And I feel like somebody was maybe trying to piggyback off of you. Somebody was trying to get what they can take from you. And I feel like you had no choice but to make a decision to um, move forward from this. Or like you, you had a choice that you had to make here. Because I feel like this is you with this Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Over here thriving, making things happen, growing your money, growing your finances. Out here looking beautiful, out here really focused on the future here, putting money away, trying to figure out how you're going to save, even investing, coming up with business plans, coming up with like a whole thing here where it was about security, just feeling secure here, feeling like you were comfortable or knowing that, you know, you should be comfortable here. But then you have some this person in your energy and I feel like you found out about this situation. You found out about somebody doing something sneaky behind your back or maybe lying to you or not being straightforward with you, okay? And I feel like they were kind of like really plotting here, plotting on you, or this could be you and your energy, or this could be somebody, this is somebody around you at the moment here. I feel like eventually, if you haven't found out about who this person is or how this person is, I feel like eventually this person, the skeletons are gonna come out their closet with the judgment card here. I also feel like this is you taking the time to learn from certain things that you went through with this person and understanding, you know, that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, majority of that reason could have been for you to awaken or for you to stop being so clouded by what this person maybe was saying or doing or the breadcrumbs that they were giving you here. Like, I feel like at one point you were just like, okay, like, Maybe I can help this person out. Maybe I could be around and, you know, be of assistance to this person, really be in a comfort zone for this person financially or emotionally or take it as it resonates. Whatever you were being to this person, they saw you as somebody who they can come to and they could pick off of in a way. And that's exactly what they did. And I feel like you found that out. Like, I feel like you're either finding that out now or you're going to find that out. Or you found that out already. Take it as it resonates because remember, time is fluid in the spiritual realm and especially in Tarot. It could have happened, it could be happening, or it could happen. Okay, so take it as it resonates. But I feel like for some of you, this is a situation that you're currently in now with this judgment card. I feel like this energy, this awakening, this understanding, this clarity that you're getting here is a current situation. I also feel like a lot of this person's secrets could have been revealed to you in a way. Like a lot of this person, like I said, like the skeletons in their closet, like you really are starting to see people for who they are, okay? You really are starting to understand people for who they are. Let's see, what else do we have for, Sag Oop, okay. for Sagittarius? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? High Priestess energy. The High Priestess and the Judgment card. This is a super spiritual awakening, Sagittarius. This is something that was destined. I feel like this, this whole thing was destined to happen. I feel like you were connected to this person. And you may have felt like this was going to be something that would have lasted in the long run. But I feel like you allowed yourself to take a step back. And to say, okay, Spirit, show me. If this is what it is that I'm supposed to do. 
show me what it is that I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to be. Like, I feel like you tried to see the good and the bad in this person, okay? I try, I feel like you tried to maybe try to get an understanding of this person while being very patient here. But I feel like a lot of the things this person was doing was making you think a lot. Like this, this person was putting you in a space where you and spirit were kind of connecting the dots about this person. And it was just like, you know, you had to ultimately come into a place where you were just like, okay, let me sit back and I'm going to watch this all unfold. And I feel like this whole situation is unfolding. And it's just like, you know, you have no choice but to sit and rest in your power because I feel like you also could have had some conversations with this person where you kind of told them. You may not have told them exactly like, oh, I feel like you're doing this, but I feel like you may have hinted at certain things. But then again, you Sagittarius, so you straightforward. So you might have just been like, I feel like this is what you're doing. And blah, 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 blah. like, But then at the same time, I feel like you got to a place where you weren't even trying to argue with this person no more. I feel like you were just letting spirit lead and guide you and show you who this person was and how this person was to you. And I feel like this person really, with the Seven of Swords energy, they really tried to put on a front with you. They really tried to make themselves out to be like they were something good and something decent. But behind the, behind your back, they were plotting and scheming. Like, this can be somebody who you have around you now. Especially with this like High Priestess card. I feel like this is you sitting and watching and paying attention to certain people and maybe realizing certain people are in your energy to just try to get what they can get from you Sagittarius but I feel like like I said everything is coming to the forefront now because you out here shining and you out here looking good and you out here doing what it is that you have to do for you so be careful of who you have around you because somebody doesn't have good intentions around you somebody is very much so um just not a, a good person like be careful of the information that you tell this person. Be careful of the conversations that you tell this person as well. I feel like this person can be trying to pick your brain here. They could be maybe asking you some questions about certain things that you're doing because they're trying to just know so that they can either beat you to the punch or they can, you know, take your idea and use it. Especially like if you feel like you're coming up with a business plan or you're coming up with like a, um, a plan for something for entrepreneurship, be careful of who it is that you tell your ideas to because somebody's going to try to take your ideas. Get your stuff like solidified, copywritten, LLC, like get your stuff solidified and be mindful of who has access to the information in your head. And you know this. You know this here with this high priestess energy. What other energy do we have for Sagittarius? What other energy do we have for Sagittarius? What other energies do we have for Sagittarius? Yeah. This person was breadcrumbing you. This person was making you feel like you need, like, they wasn't giving you what you wanted. I feel like once you got to a point where you were like, okay, I'm done with this. Like, I don't have to deal with this like I don't have to be like stuck with this situation I feel like you kind of felt like you were stuck with a situation but then you realize like you can have better and you can have more like why do I gotta focus on what this person is trying to offer me when at the end of the day I know that there's so much more that can be offered to me like this person could have been holding you up like I feel like this person could have been just blocking you in a way here okay but I also feel like a lot of the things that were happening with, between you and this person, some of those things could have been reflected on how you thought about yourself or how you felt about yourself from the past or from past situations, okay? I feel like there were certain things and certain characteristics about you that you had that maybe made you feel like, I don't know if you didn't feel like you were good enough or didn't feel like you weren't, you know, capable of whatever it is that you want for yourself here or this nine of pentacles energy but overall i feel like this is an energy where you were learning yeah this person had you competing for them 
this person maybe felt like or maybe made you feel like you were in competition with them or y'all was just always arguing just always going back and forth maybe i wasn't seeing eye to eye maybe at one point this person just seemed like they was all in for you and what it is that you wanted and maybe made it feel like they all was on the same page all together but then come to find out like this person was like a very like conflicting person this person wanted to argue with you like i feel like the communication was all messed up and I feel like this person just definitely put you in some situations here that made you feel like you either had to defend yourself or you had to defend how you felt or you had to, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like now that you realize you don't have anything in common with this person, I feel like this is the, this is the awakening that's happening here. Okay, this is the awakening that's happening here. Like this person is definitely somebody who really didn't put much effort into certain things i don't feel like they put a whole bunch of effort into you i don't feel like they put and i feel like at one point maybe they started to with this four of cups energy i feel like at one point they were giving you this and giving you that and then all of a sudden it just slowed down like this person just completely did a 180 and maybe that had you thinking like okay like what's going on what's happening like this is not what this is supposed to be like I feel like there was a thing where it just wasn't. You guys just weren't on the same page. I feel like you got tired of waiting for this person. You got tired of waiting for this person. And you got tired of their little breadcrumby offers that they were giving you. And I feel like now you're in a place where you're allowing spirit to provide those emotions, that spiritual awakening, that understanding of yourself. And the more that you do that, you're aligning onto your path. And this is why the Nine of Pentacles is here. You're aligning onto your path. This was a destined call. This was a destined gesture. Like you were ultimately bound to figure out or to find out about who this person was or who this person is. Like, And it's like you're destined for so much more. Some of you are very, very, very intuitive. I feel like, you know, we all are very intuitive, you know, as human beings. But some of you are very intuitive here borderline psychic some of you are psychic some of y'all can just like read people's energies you can also be very empathetic just like feeling people's feelings and emotions and you know when somebody lying like i feel like this is you <laughs> looking at somebody while they're like you know i love you you know i want to be with you and you're just like mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. and it got to a point where you just got over it you're over it here with this four of cups energy you're done with that situation like and I feel like the focus is now on you. Like, I feel like at one point you may have even maybe distanced yourself from everybody and just put yourself in a place where, like, you were just like, I'm going to learn about me and I'm just trying to focus on me and that is it. Like, I just want to really just pay attention to me and do what it is that I got to do for me to make myself happy. What are some messages that this person wants to say to Sagittarius, though? What are some messages that this person wants to say to Sagittarius? Because I feel like this person now, I feel like this person is feeling it. We're going to pull up some messages that they want to say to you, and then we're going to look at their energy. What are some messages that this person wants to say to Sagittarius? getting to know each other I think this person is looking for another chance soulmate this person sees you as somebody who they want to be with worth waiting for this person make the, uh -uh. I feel like this person kind of had you in a like a back and forth up and down type of situation especially with this getting to know each other as soulmate vibe like, I don't know about y'all, and I don't know how y'all feel about, like, situations, especially when it comes down to, like, new love and new relationships and things like that. But if I'm getting to know you, I'm not going to automatically call you my soulmate. Yeah, like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I feel like this person might have had you in a situation where they just made you feel like, okay, excuse me, they made you feel like this was something that was going to go a long way, but then they would turn around and be like, oh, let's take it slow, like, let's work on some things, let's try to figure out each other, let's try to do some stuff, da -da -da -da. and then, like, here it comes with this worth waiting for, like, 
I feel like this person definitely made you wait and you got tired of waiting. It's up to you if you decide that this person is worth waiting for or not. But honestly, I feel like these cards are definitely telling you to trust your intuition and pay attention to the energy around you and pay attention to how this person was breadcrumbing you. This person was definitely breadcrumbing you. But they were telling you things and making you feel some type of way because they wanted to get you in a spot where you felt comfortable with them so that you would be that nine of pentacles to them. You could be that person that made them feel comfortable. If they needed money from you, they could ask you for money or they could, you know, look for or some type of support from you whether that be financially emotionally physically take it as it resonates but i feel like this person looked at you as a never-ending well of whatever it is that they needed so they knew that they had to do whatever that they had to do they knew that they had to say certain things like oh i love you you're my soulmate this is it this is that this is like i feel like this person may have said all of this stuff just to get you to feel comfortable and then the moment that you kind of got close to them i feel like it turned into a thing where it was like getting to know one another like it's like oh, okay like no like we ain't even on that level yet like slow down like we're we 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 chilling like we you know what i'm saying and then they would tell you like, oh, like, it's okay to wait. Like, I feel like with this worth waiting for card, I feel like they gave you all the excuses as to why y'all should wait to take stuff to the next level. But all the while, they was looking for you to do wifely or husband-like duties while they was out here being the seven of swords. Mm -hmm. We ain't got no time for that, Sagittarius. We are awakening and moving forward. Let's play some advice for the future. What's some advice for our Sagittarius is in the future? What's some advice for our Sagittarius in the future? What's some advice for our Sagittarius in the, in the future? Disconnecting. Three of Cups in the reverse. Disconnecting from this person. Maybe not going out with this person. I feel like this person can be maybe reaching out to maybe want to take you out somewhere. Take you out to drink. Take you, oh, let's go get a drink here. Let's go get something. Let's go meet. Like, I feel like... I feel like it's best if you just completely just keep your distance from this person, even emotionally. Like, maybe if you feel like, okay, it's okay for us to be cool, like, I could be cool with you, but it's not going to be on that level. But even with that, I would just definitely be cautious because this person is a schemer and a scammer. Like, they just want information from you. They want to keep you in their loop because they want to know what it is that's what what's going on with you. They want to be a part of it so that they can try to be involved and try to get what they can get out of you but spirit is saying three cups in the reverse it is time for you to disconnect from this person it's time for you to move forward from this person i'm not going out with you i'm not celebrating with you i don't have time to be trying to be getting on your level or trying to make you like me or make you want me like i'm okay what's the other advice for sagittarius what's the other advice for sagittarius in this situation What's the other advice for Sagittarius in this situation? <laughs> Sagittarius. <laughs> Judgment card again. It's time for you to blow the whistle on this person. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. I'm gonna call you out because I'm gonna blow the whistle. <laughs> it's time for you to really like be like, ah, okay, yeah, nah. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for it. I'm moving on. I'm healing. I'm moving to the next level in my life. I am literally focused on what it is that I'm doing for me, and that is it. Ace of Pentacles, opportunities. Focus on your opportunities. I feel like you have a big opportunity that's coming towards you or a big opportunity for you to make money, maybe a new job, maybe a new career, maybe a new pathway to a new career. Some of you can be going on a journey here to a new career, but I feel like you are focused on the next steps that you're taking in your life. You have too much You have too much on the line, Sagittarius. And I don't even think you know it yet because this Ace of Pentacles is a gift from spirit. Like I feel like your whole financial situation is about to change. But spirit will not allow it to change if you're still connected to people or things or places that are no longer serving your path. You have to focus on your path and you have to focus on the opportunities that are presenting themselves to you because you are prosperous. Like you, the prosperity that you have coming in for you, it's gifted. Like I said, these things were destined because this is what's coming in for you. 
this new job, this new career, this new this new business, this new venture, this new opportunity, whatever it is, this is an opportunity that is going to give you money upon money upon money. This is God's hand coming down from the clouds, giving you money. And God don't penny pinch, okay? God do not penny pinch. He don't penny pinch. He don't penny pinch, <laughs> okay? So I feel like these opportunities that are coming for you, those are the things that need your attention and that need your focus. Don't worry about this person. Focus on this person. This person, I feel like, is trying to distract you from this opportunity. You may have talked to this person about this opportunity that's coming in for you, and now this person feels like, okay, I got to connect to this person because this is coming in for them, and I got to make sure I get what I get. No, not everybody can go with you. Not everybody can go with you to the next level, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I hope this resonated. If it did, go ahead and leave a like button and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Take care.